Well, good evening, everyone. This is our final Monday wrap of the year, and welcome along to it. Sorry we couldn't bring you last week, but we had a bit of trouble with that. But now here's my upside up for the final time this year in the studio with me. Good evening. What's been the highlight of your year? Um, I think the highlight of my year has been going to Brisbane. And I went to visit some friends. And we went out to South Bank. That was good fun there. And you been to Brisbane later? Not yet, but I'm hoping to get up there next year to have a look. You been to South Bank there? I know where that is. That's on the Brisbane River side. It's beautiful. We'll have to go there next year, okay? Put it on your bucket list. I will. And um, our lead story tonight, the New South Wales bushfires are getting worse. Here's my offside and for his opening sequence on this. And for the last week of the year, it's going to be a record-breaking heat wave there. And we'll get three point five degrees. Uh, and we'll get to that in a minute. Mm. But a plane has crashed, crashed, killing someone. How sad is that? Very sad, there. So, so if you're flying a plane, make sure that it is served properly. Here's my offside. Yeah, especially if you're in a small plane. There's a, a big plane had to come back to Sydney Airport yesterday. Yeah. There was smoke in the cockpit. So it's no, no good. Safety in the air. Be careful out there, everybody. Be careful out there. A lot of people are going to be in the air this Christmas holidays. And lots of dead star flights cancelled in January. So everybody check their tickets and with their airline that they're going with. So check your tickets, guys. Bring the airline that you are flying with before you set out because you may get there and it could be a hell of a long wait. Here's my offside. Yep, you might have to wait for the next flight or even till the next day. Oh, yeah. Uh, or make alternative arrangements to stay at the airport hotel. Here's my offside. Yep, quite often the airlines will pay for your stay overnight in the hotel. Or if you have travel insurance, you can plan on travel insurance. So, before you even pack your bag to go and you book your tickets, Check with your airlines, guys. Here's my offside. Yep, good idea. Uh, we could find you the airlines number, but maybe we'll give it to you next time. We'll give you Jetstar's number. We'll look it up. And you can contact Jetstar or Qantas or Virgin and make sure your flights are on time. Now, as we were saying, Sydney is set to be in for two days of very hot weather guys so 35 on thursday and then 37 again on saturday so if you're planning any outdoor activities on thursday forget about it go to the movies or a, a shopping center here's my offside Yep, the shopping centres are going to be packed on Thursday and Saturday with late last minute Christmas shopping and everybody trying to keep cool. And, and go to the, the picture theatres as well. Here's my offside. Picture theatres is a good idea. Shopping centres. Or 10 pin bowling. I think we're going 10 pin bowling on Saturday. What a good idea. So, 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 Please, guy, guys, I know this is uh, um, 
It's lighting up the Christmas, but if you're hot and bothered, please don't take your anger out on somebody else because things are not going your way. Here's my offside. That's right, Barry. Everybody just needs a little bit of patience. Just have to wait your turn. Everybody's in a hurry and everybody's hot and bothered. And don't have a road rage attack because it won't solve the problem. And don't drive like a maniac because you know what will will happen. We say this a lot to you on the show. Bang! Especially if you hit a truck. Especially what happens if you hit a petrol truck? <laughs> Bang! That'll be the end of it. So just slow down, everybody. There's these big petrol tankers going down Ringer Road these days and have to go to 10 kilometers an hour and everybody's trying to rush around them. Just slow, slow down. Because remember, you will only have the one life out there on that road. Please. My offsider and I can't say this enough to you on the show, especially uh, this last one that we've got. We're doing here for you now. So, if you see a petrol tank, don't go far. Don't try and overtake it. Don't try and overtake it. And get in front of it. And everybody gets in front of it before the traffic lights. And guess what happens? And the, chill, the petrol tank can't slow down. And and it can go bang. And you just mm -hmm. go up in a ball of flames, and you send half the suburbs up with you. And and they'll be lots of petrol spilled everywhere, and big fireball. They could catch onto the bush and start another fire. So it be like a, a natural disaster, there. Yeah, so take out half of Sydney. So please, guys, be aware of petrol tanks and other big trucks. Be I was the start got hit by a big truck last week. So they opened their car up like a tin can. Lucky they survived. So, uh, so the truck went bang right into the back of them. So please, guys, petrol tankers and cars. They don't mix. Here's my offsider. Yep, be careful around big trucks on the roads. Even semis, they can't pull up as quickly. The V doubles, and there's a lot of removalist fans around this time of year because everybody's moving. Just be careful, everyone. Be patient and slow down. And wear your seatbelt. Yep. And if you are in a 60 zone, guys, stay within that. If you're in 70, stay within that speed limit. If you're in 80, stay within that. If you're in 90, do 90. If you're in 100, stay under 100. If you do 110, stay under that. And the rule is, if you're not overtaking, keep to the left lane. Otherwise, you can get booked. Well, we've had a fabulous year bringing the shows to you, and we've got the summer series coming up starting on Saturday. Here's my offloader. Yeah, great summer series with lots of ideas for outdoor activities, summer fun, and, and how to keep safe during summer. And that's all starting this Saturday after the conclusion of my final Friday night back here, here, and lots of healthy food ideas. What about some summer dessert recipes? Some dessert recipes that will be coming up, mm. Mm. like a fruit salad. Pavlova. Pavlova, you name it. Christmas fruit cake. Fruit cake and the mm. brandy custard. Oh, beautiful, man. Yeah. I feel like some now. Can't wait. And, and the Christmas party was great. 
Everybody sang Christmas carols. Everybody had a good time. We're going to have karaoke this Saturday as well. Yeah. And we'll be doing it all again. Some more Christmas songs. Uh, so bring your Christmas songs, everyone. Have a good time. And and we, we went and take 2019 out with it. Bang! Bang. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. And the last thing we'd like to say to conclude this show, the last one for the year, is we'd like to say thank you everybody for tuning in. We do hope that you'll join us for our summer series kicking off on the 21st of December. We can't wait to bring it to you. Here's my offside to tell you about it now. Yeah, we wish you a safe and happy Christmas New Year and see you all next year for another wonderful series of programs. Well, we've got the summer series coming up. Yes. Holiday program. Holiday program. And for those that are still feeling sick, we wish them a speedy recovery. But if you've been sick from eating too much, it's your own fault. It is. Maybe we should remind the viewers on sensible eating habits. Uh, you think they should all eat too much? Rich chocolate? Well, we'll bring that up. We'll bring that up next time. Otherwise, a few people could get sore tummy there. Okay, and the mess. Dad, you know he's hiding up. Well, before we go tonight, we had a a recipe called White Christmas. Mm -hmm. I love a White Christmas, Dan. And just... here's my offside to read the recipe for you. Everyone can see that. Everyone can see that. And it's got what it needs is three cups of rice bubbles, one yeah. cup coconut, three quarters of a cup of icing sugar, one cup mixed fruits, one cup of powdered milk. Combine all the dry ingredients in a bowl, add melted kofa, press into baking uh, paper lined slab tin. Set in the fridge, let it set, cut into squares. And, and you've got to add 250 grams of kofra with it. And it is a great Christmas mm -hmm. gift, everybody. We'll bring you some more and yummy Christmas recipes over we'll, this week. And we'll tell you how to use the leftovers. So that's all coming up. Well, that's our last. Monday wrap of the year 2019 and for this decade and here's my offside and now to say his good night but before we do the number that we talk about regularly here on the show please do not ring triple zero unless you've got an emergency here's my offside and Close this show with that. Yep, good advice, Barry. Say triple zero, just for emergency. Not the pizza delivery, taxi services, or Uber reach. Or if you need a massage. No. no. no just for, see, what about if you just got an ingrown toenail? No, don't do that. Toothache? No. Nope, no. Nope. It's for emergencies only. So don't be an idiot, guys. And the same with the well, the West Our friends at West Park Rescue. Yep, just keep them for emergency. If somebody's drowning or somebody's you know, dead or someone's fallen off a cliff. And that's where I'd like we'd like to finish the final Monday wrap of the year. So from all of us here at the Monday wrap. Have a Merry Christmas, the guys. We'll be back with the summer series kicking off on the 21st of December. Do not miss that. 
and against my outside and now to close this show and say good night. Yeah, and all the outsiders and the viewers would like to thank you for 2019, Dan, making it a great year and giving a lot, lots of helpful and friendly advice. Thank you for that, Dan. And we'll see you back on Monday, the 6th of January, will, will be our first Monday wrap. The first Sunday wrap will be back as, as well. And we didn't do the final Saturday wrap because of the Christmas party. It's a big day, Senator. We might be able to get a chance to do one next Saturday. We might be able to squeeze a quick one in next Saturday, but that's all, folks. That's all, folks. And we wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't drink and drive, or no. use your mobile phone, no. or you will go. <laughs> Bang! That'll be it. And you won't see the new year. And we'll be bringing the new year program too. Yeah. So good night from all. Good night, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching us this year. Good night, stay safe.